Hi guys, today I'm showing you the March-April 2017 Quirky Kits. I have got the main kit which is called... Oh, I'm not sure what it's called this month. Okay, I've got the main kit and also some bits and pieces from the light and embellishment kits which uh, Leo has very kindly given to me as a design team member. So this month the format for the um, the sketches thing is a bit different. It's a square and it's also got what's in our kits in it, so that's different. Um, it doesn't make a huge difference to me what the format is and I think square is very cute. Um, I'm going to get started with the main kit. So... First thing we get this orangey coloured cardstock and it is textured and we get this really gorgeous coloured teal cardstock which is also textured. Um, I find both of those really pretty. Oh my table's dusty. Sorry that's quite disgusting. My table is quite gross at the moment. Um, yeah so we have them and then we also have two pieces of white texture cardstock which I really appreciate because I prefer um, usually we get smooth white cardstock and I do prefer textured so that's nice so with the pattern papers first thing from Jelly Bean Soup Bowl of Dreams is the Think With Purpose and this is a nice plus signs and then a really pretty blue with white polka dots next we have this uh, L Studio Live Laugh Love Collection called Penance. It's got these semicircles and you can kind of see where they overlap. And then a very versatile diagonal stripe with some more plus signs at the bottom. So you can, you're going to kind of see quite tropical colours, which is nice because when it's spring it's starting, well, not today, but you hope it's going to be more sunny, so that's nice. And there's lots of um, brands I don't know so well, so that's interesting too. Next, from Pink Fresh Studio, which is quite a well-known brand, um, from the Live More collection, it's got this grid on one side, and it's called Freedom, and the other side, this is kind of like a background paper really, um, I tend not to use the background papers as backgrounds, I, I just prefer not to, and I really like this neutral side. Next, from the Pink Fresh Studio Dream On collection is Wish, it's got these very fun triangles, um, on one side, triangles having a party, and I really like this circle pattern. It's got little stripes in the circles. It's quite nice and doodly. I really like the neutral sides, more neutral sides of the papers this month. Next from Kaiser Craft Wildflower Collection is Succulents, and this has leaves, as you might expect from a name like Succulents. And then the other side is like marble, which I think is really cool. I like both of these. I really like the colours of this side. Next from Bella Boulevard, oh they've got the branding strip on the other side, um, from the Make Your Mark collection is a paper called Magnifique and look at that flower, floral, whatever you call it, it's really gorgeous, I'm going to turn it this way up because I prefer it this way up but that's really gorgeous and then the other side is pretty too, it's like white brush strokes on green looks like fabric. I'm going to put it this way up even though you're not going to be able to see it in a second. And the final pattern paper is from Jilly Bean Soup Bowl of Dreams and it's called Bite Size Bits and it's got these cut apart type things. It's got a nice dream catcher. I've seen dream catch because there are dream catchers in the last kit as well. That's interesting. I dream catchers are pretty though so I don't blame them. And then uh, this could almost be used like a cardstock really, it's just a nice coloured paper with a nice texture. Um, I'll lay down this white paper so you can see the embellishments. Now, when I got this kit I got a bit confused because I thought there were no alphabets. Don't worry, there are. Um, they're not really big, like that big, uh, chunky alphabets. Um, this is what the... They've got these styles. I'm probably going to tick them off when I use them so I know what words I can make without having to search through them. That's really cool. I haven't used alphabets like these before. Um, next we have some cut apart labels. And the backgrounds aren't just plain this month. They're kind of textured backgrounds in watercolour type things. Really pretty watercolour. Um, next there are 
This is from L Studio Live Laugh Love collection and they're called Bits and Pieces. So it's like an embellishment pack, but it's quite a small one, 29 pieces. Um, which is nice because you don't want loads of embellishments left over. And they're quite small as well, so it's good for layering. Got tags and things which are good for layering. So those will be fun. Next from Freckle Ford, some very cute paper clips. I think these, you, you'll have seen them before. We got some Nouveau Jewel Drops. All of, I've got, you can see them almost, bottom right corner. Um, I've got loads of Nouveau Crystal Drops, which are kind of opaque. They're the ones you make the DIY enamel dots with. Um, so I think, I get the impression Jewel Drops are basically a bit more translucent. So like jewels rather than... I don't really know why they think um, <laughs> jewels are more translucent than crystals, but I guess that's just what they think. Um, and in this pack, Leo has given some tips for using them, so check them out if you want to do more than just enamel dots, but I like the dots. <laughs> and the final thing is a pack of cards, and I'm pretty sure they're exclusive. Yeah, they're exclusive to the kit, they always are. Um, and they're sized... Let me just measure them, because I'm not good at estimating. Yeah, they're slightly less than 4 by 4 inches, um, square cards, and they've got kind of shapes you could cut out, or you can use them for layering, or you can use them as journaling cards. Oh, I like that cactus. And there's just lots of nice icons, and they always match the kits really well, because she designs them. <laughs> it's not Valentine's Day anymore. <laughs> I'm kidding. Could use that for my dad or something. I like I like this kind of thing, dude. It's apparently, some kind of a boy theme. So yeah, these are double sided this month, so you're gonna have to pick your fave. So this is the quirky main kit for March and April, and now I'm going to show you the extras I've got. So again, I'm going to start with pattern papers and cardstock. So there's this very bright orange textured paper, cardstock I mean. That is, if you layer this behind your photo, it's just going to pop so much. I don't think I am brave enough to use this as a background, so it will be used as layering. Then we've got another sheet of white textured, lovely, very useful. Now I think this is my favourite pattern paper, it's from Pink Press Studio Dream On. It's called Delight. And look at the birds, they're so cute. And the thing is, <laughs> this is going to sound really strange, but I do a lot of dancing. And one of my groups is about, it's called the Dancing Birds of Tanimbar, and we're all really strange birds. So, <laughs> um, if I find a, I'll find some good photos from that to use this paper with. Definitely. Like, I don't, I'm not saying just because it's a bird paper you need to have something to do with birds. But if you have something to do with birds, and you have a bird paper, you may as well put them together, you know? And then the other side is really pretty too, but once I've printed out my bird photos, I'm going to use that side. Next from Pink Fresh Studio, Dream On again, Reverie. So this is like a cut-apart paper, except they're all random shapes and sizes. So these ones are good embellishment sizes, and then these are more journaling sort of sizes. But they've got really, like, they've got inspirational phrases. So they'd also be quite good to stick in like a planner or something, if you're one of those. <laughs> I said that like it's a bad thing, I have a planner. Um, yeah, Neverland is my home, that's cute. But the other side is really pretty too, I like the... I think I would have... I don't know if the constant, if this is a real constellation, because I don't recognise it. But, yeah, it's cute. I'll stick it this side, because it contrast more. Next from Pebbles, Tea Lightful is Daydreams and it's got really cute clouds and a nice baby blue and then this says enjoy the moment, take a little time for tea, isn't this lovely, together is my favourite place to be, sweet friend, it's just got lots of cute things in a nice cursive. And then Finally, from Jelly Bean Soup Bowl of Dreams, again, is Make Magic. And we've got more cursive font type writing, different sort of cursive. Um, and then some polka dots. So I'll stick a white cardstock again for the embellishments. And I think 
I do actually prefer the papers, the some of these extra papers, some of the papers in the kit, which is why it's a good idea to check out the extra shop because um, there might be some things that you're missing out on if you don't get the whole extra kit. I got these sent to me, but because <laughs> I was I was a bit busy around the time the extra shop opened, and I didn't want to like think about that. So I've got another set of alphas. This is L Studio um, in mint, and it's got lots of alphabets and they're little so if you compare it to these as you can see these are quite a lot smaller I'm sorry I had to sneeze um, these are quite a lot smaller so that's another reason why you might want to check out the shop obviously these aren't going to be able you can't use these for every project you just like if you look at them you just can't but these you could use pretty much any project I think um, so it's good to get these as well so you can have more versatility. Next we've got from Pink Press Studio Dream On these rubber chips and it doesn't have a picture on the back so I can't show you what the ones that are upside down look like but you get the idea they're really cute that looks like bunting that's a camera I have no idea what the squiggle is but they're gonna be cute and because they haven't got the sticky stuff on them already you can reposition them more easily I guess. Next we've got these um, vellum die cuts and I think this is so lovely because I don't have a die cutting machine um, doing this myself would be really difficult but I tried to do a vellum butterfly type layout before but my butterflies weren't really detailed enough but these are so gorgeous look at that they're so pretty and it's going to be difficult to use these without folding up the wings isn't it <laughs> that's just how they're meant to be used you can see it um, and there's some really little ones as well so those are adorable. I think I can imagine using them on projects quite a lot because that's the kind of thing I like to use because um, it just fits everything if it's white. And the final thing from Pink Press Studio... Oh no, it's not. Jelly Bean Soup. Um, it's from Jelly Bean Soup Bowl of Dreams and it's the Buffy stickers. And they look very cute. They're nice and little cute embellishments. I like these little hearts. Oh, it's not focusing. Come on. Yeah, so I like these little hearts. I've got very usable words, feathers. I like that they have repeating icons so you can make clusters with the same elements. And yeah, adorable. So that's what I got from the kits. Uh, please check out the Quick Kit blog for ideas. I'm going to. Last time I uploaded quite late because I, uh, as I said, I had my dance show last time. So I was. I had things every weekend and then I had school during the week and I had rehearsals almost every weekday as well so I completed everything once my show was finished but this time I'm going to try and get them up early so you've got inspiration while you've got your kids. Um, but yeah, thanks very much for watching. I'll link crafty templates where you can buy these and my Instagram down below. Bye!